dear friends. Good day to you. Greetings from Holland. Uh, glad you're joining me for a reading of the Psalms. And today we've come to Psalm 132. And a psalm a day keeps misery away. I hope you are enjoying this series and I hope you get strengthened by the word of God. And this is, uh, uh, again, still a song um, for pilgrims ascending to Jerusalem. Really, the, the psalm tells the story about uh, the people wanting to build a sanctuary, a place, a temple, a resting place for the Lord God. And they wanted David to do it and David wanted to do it, but God said no. And um, so his son Solomon eventually did it. Solomon, sorry, eventually did it. But um, the psalm says... In verse 13, and I love that, for the Lord has chosen Jerusalem, um, he has desired it for his home. Hmm. Or Zion, for the Lord has chosen Zion, he has desired it for his home. This is my resting place forever, he said, I will live here, for this is the home I desired. You know, I've said it before, we can talk about this, we can debate, we can discuss it, you can maybe don't even want to agree with this. But it says in the Bible that a God has chosen Jerusalem as a place where he wants to live forever. And uh, it's something to look forward to, I think. I, it's very hard to picture what that will be like and how it will uh, all happen. But I'm, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to accept what it says here. I don't have to join sides or, or, or um, in the... In the battles that are going on about Jerusalem, uh, I would say, you know, my book, my Bible, the Word of God says that he has chosen Jerusalem as his place. So hallelujah, that's the way it is. And uh, people cannot change what he has said. And we will see it in the near future. Um, what that will actually mean or how that will play out. But anyway, I ask you again, as we did a few um, days ago, to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And... Uh, Read this psalm, and um, especially verse 17, I'm thinking, the last verse. May you enjoy it. Here in Jerusalem, I will increase the power of David. My anointed one will be a light for my people. So, see you tomorrow. Bye.